Ramadan is the month of the Qur'an. And there's three aspects to the Qur'an. There's reciting it, there's listening to it, and there's contemplating it. Try to recite as much Qur'an as you can. And if you don't know Arabic, try to make an effort to read the translation of the Qur'an as well. One of the good English translations that I recommend is the one that was translated by Professor M.A.S. Abdul Halim and it's published by Oxford. It's available online. It's about $10. It's one of the best translations I've come across and I recommend you check that out. Try to read one juz or one thirtieth of the Quran every single day that you, so that you finish the entire thing in one month. If you can't do that, try and read a page or two pages or whatever you're able to. Try to be consistent in the month of Ramadan. Read in Arabic, recite in Arabic, and then reflect in your local language if you don't understand the Arabic language. For those of you who don't know Arabic and you're attending the prayers in the mosque, you might be wondering, the prayers are really long and I don't understand what the Imam is saying. So what can you do? Well, one of the things you can do is you can actually find out which verses the Imam is going to be reciting from in the prayer that day and try to read the translation of those verses so that when you actually come for the prayer, you know what he's going to recite and you had already read it in advance. So when he's talking about the story of Prophet Adam, you're going to keep hearing Adam, Adam. When he's talking about the story of Prophet Ibrahim, you're going to hear Ibrahim. And you can follow along a little bit with the may maybe the minimal Arabic vocabulary that you have and you'll actually pick up some more words along the way. Remember that these are the words of God. So take them seriously.